Okay, guys and gals, this is the entrance of historic Fort Morgan, Fort Morgan, Alabama. This fort was very relevant in the War of 1812. This would be a great location for another little shark movie, but I don't know what the movie would be about. What amazes me about these old forts, guys, is where they're located, the elements that they're exposed to, how old they are, and the fact that they're still relatively good condition you know like all these forts that I visit are well over 100 years old so that's pretty amazing to the testament to the engineering of the times this fort Fort Morgan um, it was named after a general, Daniel Morgan, uh, and I did research, and he was a Revolutionary War hero. It's kind of interesting. Okay. These are where the munitions were stored for battery in Newport Tail. Guys, if you've never been to these old historic forts, you definitely should come. They're so fun to like walk around and explore. There's all these like wicked cool nooks and crannies and just really cool. It's awesome. Like look at that. Then you get ducked down over here. During the siege of 1864, this place was holding, get a load of this, more than 60,000 pounds of gunpowder. Think of that. I love the signs of decay. It's so cool. <laughs> Guys, if you notice uh, in my other videos of other historians, uh, they're always obviously multiple sided. Uh, the design is obviously to defend against flanks and different angles of attack. So, you know, kind of having all the angles covered, if you will. Guys, read that. Tell me that's not amazing. Wow. Love the old rusted iron. This is a pretty uh, cool view of Fort Morgan. Fort Morgan, Alabama. Guys, those are granite ledge stairs. You do not want to fall down those. That would be a very bad day. Bad day, falling down those. Oh, let's go this way. Oh man, I 
wish I had an idea for some sort of movie. This place is so cool. So back in the day, they used to uh, have animals put in a contribution and more effort. So this is where the dogs and cats would uh, fire their ammunition. Uh, this is just a, uh, this is what's called the lighthouse battery. Pretty cool though. Check out that slate roof. See guys, your cannon would sit against that radius rail right there pointing out there and depending on the angle of attack that they needed, you know, obviously the radius rail track would provide that. Hello?